Hi, I'm Mark Whitting. You may recognize me from all the spam you've gotten over the years. Okay, sorry about that. I'd hope to congratulate you in front of your family, but first I get a haircut and put on clean pants. Now, none of that will ever happen. But trust me, you'd rapidly find diminishing marginal utility of listening to speeches. You're there already. Um, last year, the econ graduation, I, I did a version of Tyrion Lannister's nomination of Brandon Stark. It's about stories. Yeah, I land about as flat as Edmure Tully's offer to rule the Seven Kingdoms. You know what I'm talking about? Am I right? Uh, uh, that seems so long ago and Game of Thrones a thing that people talked about, you know, before grayscale became rampant. But anyway, stick on the econ theme for a moment. Diminishing returns happens a lot, but it's not everywhere. In 2018, the Economics Nobel Prize was shared between Bill Nordhaus for his work on climate change and Paul Romer for his work on economic growth. And everybody's like, what? Yeah, certainly two great economists, but I don't ever recall hearing their names together before they shared the prize. They go together about as well as, well, like, uh, I don't know, a sushi taco. I mean, you know, both are great, but who puts them together? But there's one place where they did actually overlap. Nordhaus did a paper where he looked at the social returns innovation. He estimated that the innovator gets about 2% of the social gain from the innovation. As such, most innovators probably do fine, but the gains to society are huge, both directly, and here we move into Romer territory, um, because like say, Scott Ogawa does something innovative, man, that guy innovates all the time. And anyway, that, that sparks your innovation, and then that caused me to think differently, and, and so on it goes, um, to, a, to a world of increasing returns. And that's a big part of Joel McKeer's explanation of how the Enlightenment came to be. Anyway, I hope your time here at Northwestern will help you become somebody who changes the world, who moves us to even greater returns to scale. And I hope that when we get past all our current challenges, you return to campus and we can say directly how glad we are that you came here and how delighted we are with all you've done. Congratulations.